but for, they're, they're my best friends because they give me a free place to run an academy and to run all our events and they're very supportive as well. Um, so yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Google's a, a, a great. Well designed. Well designed. Uh, Google, are, Google are quite well designed, yeah. yeah. Hopefully we'll, we'll become well designed ourselves, but uh, we, we'll see. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes? What are some of the most interesting fintech startups you've worked with? You mentioned Wi-Fi, but they're, not, they're just tech. What, what specific fintech it, startups? It's, it, it's, it's always a very difficult question when you, uh, if, if somebody says, what's the best plat uh, startup on my platform? It's really pretty well uh, impossible to say because it's the picking problem that's actually even VC. You go to a VC and say, what's the best startup in your portfolio? So what I, I'm more likely to be able to do is, is bring in 10 startups that are all at the top 25%. But if you if you say subjects, I suppose it's the more disruptive ones. I mean, um, you know, people like um, bit, uh, bit uh, sorry, blockchain, people like that. Um, um, but I think that's just a person. That's down to personal preference. I mean, I think you either like legacy or you like disruptive. And because as in a startup platform, I'm you know I'm I'm always going to favour the disruptive rather than the legacy. Okay, well, I think we've got through it quite nice and quickly. Thank you very much. That's all the time is running out. Thanks very much for squeezing in and doing a great presentation. And now I present Edvina. Okay, hi guys, last person, go go really speedy. Um, Z, thank you very much nice for socks. inviting me. Thank you. <laughs> socks and jumper. Um, so I am CEO of Startup Bootcamp for the London FinTech Accelerator, so one of those accelerators that were mentioned. Um, you've also got people like Barclays Textiles Accelerator, Level 39 guys, the Accenture um, FinTech Lab as well, so there are big focused accelerators going on, but I'm going to obviously talk about mine. Uh, and then also hopefully talk a little bit about trends at the end, again, keep it short. Um, so what do we do? So we are, Startup Bootcamp is a network of accelerators around Europe um, and we, in, so mainly around Europe in also across in Asia and through to uh, the States shortly as well. Uh, in London we focus specifically on fintech. Each Startup Bootcamp accelerator tends to be a franchise model, so we're funded by separate corporate partners. So uh, in London we are funded by Lloyds, Mastercard, Rabobank, Inter, San Paolo, Avato, and two big venture capitalists, Route 66 and SBT Ventures. We work with financial institutes where we can work with their innovation departments in order that we can plug our startups into their innovation departments and do proof of concepts, do pilots, get investment going on. Um, and we essentially take 10 fintech startups a year, and in exchange for 8% equity, we run an intensive three-month program where we aim to achieve about 18 months growth for each startup during that three-month period. We take a global cohort, so any fintech startup across the world who wants to scale and grow within Europe and UK is welcome to join us. Um, and, and we do this, so we, we manage to achieve this growth by our excellent partners, by working with them, by uh, I think we did about 21 projects between our startups and our partners last year. So from anything from a two-week uh, proof of concept through to full investment and those relationships have obviously continued afterwards. Um, and we do that by having an awesome mentor network. So we have about 250 mentors on our books who are willing to give up their free time and work with our startups. And you'll get this in any accelerator as well. There are different models, but the mentors are awesome. Um, it's people who love innovation, who love fintech, who just want to get involved. Um, people have different amounts of free time, so they'll be working for half a day with the teams to maybe just half our consultation or an introduction or help. Um, I had a failed startup in my past and I applied to an accelerator and I just thought, sod it, I just want the cash and I want an office space. But actually it is the network and the connections and the environment that will, that will get you better places and will help the startup evolve. Um, and we also have an accelerator in Singapore that we launched at the end of last year. So if you apply to London, then you've got the access to the kind of the global network and partners as well. Um, 
So yeah, so that's a very a brief intro and I can talk more about it and if you want we have a, an awesome thing called a fast track tour where we invite startups to come and meet mentors and we've got a, a day where you can do that on the um, 12th of June in London um, and it's completely free so just apply online with your, with your fintech startup um, and we bring in awesome investors and fintech experts to, to come in. Um, so yeah, so then in terms of trends, so this is a trend, a trend event, so tie it loosely back in at the end. Um, uh, so a couple of things, investment, you've seen Accenture report, uh, tripled in value in fintech uh, last year. The UK, and they, and they did it in the where they, um, they put the UK and Europe in amongst countries like Russia, just threw in Russia, um, but the UK is better than Russia in terms of investment that's going on at the moment. It is the place to be, you know, because there's events like this happening every evening. Um, there's really a lot of excitement, a lot of hype. And we see a lot of people leaving their finance jobs and we encourage them to do that and set up startups. Um, our average demographic for the last cohort was um, age 38 and heavily male because, you know, look at us. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of people who've got who've got ideas, who've got want to do something else, and, and are leaving their jobs. And coming to mentor, you know, accelerators like this is a great way of, of learning a little bit about it whilst giving back and then and working on ideas. It's another another way in. Um, and then in terms of startups, so there's obviously a lot of repetition going on. There's some very popular topics that are happening. Um, we're seeing more, well, obviously. Consumer-focused fintech is, is quite hot, but we are seeing that transition into B2B and in the offline side of things. Uh, blockchain is a very popular topic, and we'd like to see more blockchain startups that aren't just focused on cryptocurrency. Um, so changing ways in, in the, the back office, um, as well as other markets entirely. Uh, financial inclusion, so we're talking about what is money, does it exist, does it not exist. Um, for a lot of people, it's hard to get a hold of in the first place, um, and if you don't have access to any digital or very, you have very limited digital access, then um, giving them financial uh, services becomes a lot trickier. So uh, thinking about financial services for the, I think it's around two billion that are unbanked at the moment. Um, seeing that side of things, investment and wealth management, uh, but generally a lot of a lot of good stuff, and uh, we love fintech startups. And I'm not great at presenting, I go very red, as you'll have noticed. Uh, but if you want to come and talk to me or just email me, my, my email address is, is online. So yeah, happily, happily have a chat. Thank you. Any, any questions for I'll, I'll take three questions to keep yeah. it short. How many startups you have So we have... Uh, we don't have any at the moment. Our cohort this year will run from, this is, this is key information that I forgot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> our cohort, <laughs> 10 a year in three months. Our cohort this year is mid-August to mid-November. You can apply online until the 21st of June this year if you want to apply to the accelerator. And where are you located? Uh, in the Rainmaking Loft, which is another co-working space in, in Tower Hill. What do you need the most? What do I need the most? I need uh, people to be brand advocates, to spread the word for me, to go and talk about startup boot camp so we can find the best startups and bring them back to London. How long have you been around? So startup boot camp itself has been going since uh, for about five years, but started in Copenhagen. And then the FinTech London one launched last year. Uh, yeah. We are judging the criteria for, um, you say, the best startups. So yeah. what are you really looking for? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the first criteria is always team. I think anyone here will tell you team number one. Um, so more two found two co-founders or more with a good strong background. Um, then you know ultimately you can work on your product, you know idea, but you've got to want to scale and grow within UK and Europe because that's where our network is. So that's where we can actually provide the most value. Um, and and then yeah, and then the rest we can work with. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Okay, one more. Sorry, do you offer um, uh, money or um, anything like that on return for, for, for yeah. equity? equity? So we or? take 8% equity, but the main value of our accelerator is the networking connections. And we provide 15,000 euros, but it's more like pocket money, pizza money, whilst you're in, yeah, whilst you're in London. Cool. What's your network like? 8% equity? Yeah. Um, so our network consists of the partners I mentioned earlier, so the five big financial institutes, the two venture capitalists, 
the 250 mentors, which are financial industry experts, they're entrepreneurs, they're tech people, they're investors, VCs, angels, um, and then we have a much broader network community as well that we bring in. Um, so it works well. It's a, it's a tried and tested model. <laughs> it's the language of the outside UK, you have again other partners that are like you, like the Central Blender, Yeah, so um, this hair San Paolo is a big Italian bank, Rabobank, bank, it's Netherlands, yeah, so European. But uh, I will wrap that up and then come and grab me. I'm bright red and orange, so yeah. Thank you, Thank you everyone for coming. We had great speakers, investors, incubators, accelerators, great suppliers, great everything, great sponsors, of course. Yeah. So I want to thank Xignite and my company, LenderWise. We are the first, once again, the first peer to business crowd lending platform which invests in a vertical marketplace. So, um, just a few minutes if people want to talk at the tables. Actually, we're kind of running out of time, so we will send emails uh, to, to all the various uh, tables and speakers. I would also recommend, since we're creating a group here, to connect on LinkedIn. I think we should all connect. This is becoming a group a movement, perhaps, or whatever we can say. And once again, uh, we, will, we can interconnect. Twitter. Sorry, I didn't catch you. Twitter, like, or, or Excellent point. Yes, yes. I could guess what it was. So okay, we will certainly think about that also. Okay, uh, and I think yes, there are free T-shirts from Max Knight, and I think some people want to go to the uh, what do you say the location downstairs? Uh, Raleigh's, right. So I think if someone wants to continue talking and chatting, we can go all down to Raleigh's. Thank you once again.